Copeland was born in New York, the son of Jewish immigrants, and grew up listening to Jewish music. I went to visit cantor Daniel Mutlu at the Central Synagogue to hear some for myself. Fantastic. Thank you. Wow, you sound amazing. Thank you. So is this something Copeland would have heard? 100%. Copeland was around. So he was born in 1900. He was in New York City. And then when you think that his family from Lithuania was conservative, they must have taken him to synagogue at least on the holidays. And that's on the holidays, by the way, is where the big heavy hitter canters and pieces were sung. So this is what he heard as a, as a kid. Absolutely. And we know that uh, the stuff that you hear as a child, it, it becomes part of us. He internalized this music. Nice. In fact, he heard this play called the Dybbuk, and he must have been completely transfixed by it because he took one of the tunes from there, which is a Jewish tune, origins in Hasidic music, and used it as a basis for his piano trio. No kidding. What's the, what's the piece called? So the tune is called Mipne Ma. Mipne Ma. And uh, the play is all about this demonic possession and being stuck between two worlds. Copeland must have been really enraptured by this and thought of himself both as a young Jewish composer, but also out in the, in the world as, uh, you know, as an American. So he's kind of reworking this in his piece. So this is the source material for Vitebsk. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, can't wait to hear it. Show more than the 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 show more than